for this uh, for us from Hong Kong. Okay, so let's just explain what exactly is this uh, Havana syndrome. How serious is it? Because it's all kind of mysterious right now. It uh, is all very mysterious. Look, there, there is still no definitive cause. We don't know what it is, but it's something that, as you said, has afflicted hundreds of U.S. officials, servicemen and women over the years in places like Cuba, Russia, China. And now we're reporting, according to U.S. government, a, a suspected case, a reported case in Vietnam. But the U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris and her team are forging ahead with their visit in Southeast Asia. Today, they are meeting with the leadership in Vietnam. But yesterday, there was that three hour delay in Singapore after the U.S. government uh, came across reports that someone in Hanoi may have been targeted with this mysterious Havana syndrome. Um, again, this was a reported case, not a confirmed case. So it was decided for Kamala Harris and her team to continue with their trip. But the Chinese managed to swoop in during that delay. Um, Vietnam's uh, prime minister met with the Chinese ambassador in China, presented Vietnam with a gift, an announcement of an additional donation of two million Chinese made COVID-19 vaccines. And during that meeting, Vietnam's prime minister said that Vietnam does not take any sides. Um, let's bring up the Vietnamese government statement for you. It reads as follows, quote, the prime minister affirmed that Vietnam adheres to an independent, self-reliant, multilateral and diverse foreign policy. And as a responsible member of the international community, Vietnam does not align itself with one country against another, unquote. But right now, Harris is holding bilateral meetings. Um, she's meeting first with the vice president, the president later on with the prime minister on the agenda. They'll be discussing, they are discussing uh, climate change, economic cooperation, security cooperation. We just learned that in her meetings that she had with the president of Vietnam, that Harris said that in regards to the South China Sea, that the United States will challenge Beijing's bullying and excessive maritime claims there. But also top of mind is the coronavirus pandemic. Listen to this from risk consultant and analyst Angela Mancini. I think where the interests align and, and have um, some good opportunities for concrete solutions is number one, health. The U.S. You know, is already producing very um, effective vaccines and presenting those as donations, free and clear, no strings attached to Vietnam. Now, later today, the U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris will be launching the regional office of the U.S. CDC, the Centers for Disease Control in Vietnam. We know that the United States has already donated some five million doses of the desperately needed Moderna vaccine. Vietnam was once a pandemic success story. It's now dealing with spiraling deaths and, and cases because of the highly infectious Delta variant and also the fact that it desperately needs vaccines. Right now, only 1.8 percent of the total population has been fully inoculated. That's one of the lowest rates in the entire region. John. Christy, thank you. Christy Lee Sat, live for us there in Hong Kong.